Okay. So here's the Opolar desk fan that I got for business yesterday. I got this from my aunt and uncle, along with the Hawkman with a stand. I just got it yesterday around 1 a.m. I don't know why 1 a.m. would be a thing for me to get it, but whatever. So, it has the battery compartment here, but I decided not to implement it with the batteries. So I'm going to show the fan. It has seven black blades. The cord is not original as... No, no, not the, the cord is original. Uh, that's a mistake. But this adapter came out from my phone. It's not original to the fan. Because Apollo does not have the adapters included. It is adjustable, so I'm going to show it later, but for right now, I'll continue on the video. Not to mention, it can move like this, but I'm just going to leave it like that, so you can see the airflow. Here's low. Oh, by the way, if you don't turn the fan on, it will just flash like that. I'm not sure if, you, if it's easy, but yeah, you can see. So here's low. The fan must be turned on in order to enable the timer. So it's four hours, two hours, one hour, and then it turns off. I can feel a little air from it, like on low speed. Medium. Yeah, I can feel some air on me. I can feel it. So, yeah. And now for high speed. Yeah, not to mention this has a really cool startup sound. But I can feel air from that. That's powerful. Powerful for being a no polar fan. This is my second one. First one will be the one this fan. But here's the timer. And one though, so if you know what happens when you turn the fan off, that disables the timer. And then when you turn it on, it's just. So, yeah, if you turn it off, that resets the whole timer progress. So now you have to turn it back on and then just press the timer. So here's the startup sound. 
and I'll show it. That's all I have today for the Opal R desk fan.